Hi everyone, now we're going to discuss question 14. Given that the function equals to modulus x squared minus x minus 2 over x squared minus 2x. Look at our function, we have a modulus function. So our first step, we need to define our modulus function in a piecewise function. So this function will be positive when it will be greater than 0. Since the function said that it cannot equal to 0, so we only can do it here is greater than 0. So negative function and this function is less than 0. Simplify this piecewise function. For x squared minus x minus 2 greater than 0, we can factorize this quadratic inequality where we can get x When we factorize these quadratic inequalities, we can see that we have a roots negative 1 and 2. When we want greater than 0, so here is the interval. Where x will be less than negative 1 and x greater than 2. For the x squared minus x minus 2 less than 0, it will be between negative 1 and 2. Now we're going to draw our interval so that we can measure our function correctly. When x less than negative 1, we will use this function. So substitute this function into the modulus place here. It will become x squared minus x minus 2 over x squared minus 2x. So this is the interval less than negative 1. And when interval between negative 1 and 2, we will be using this function, negative x squared minus x minus 2 over x squared minus 2x. When it x equals to 2, this is the value of 0. When the x greater than 2, we will use this function over x squared minus 2x. For this function, notice that the x cannot equal to 0. Means here it will not occur at this point. Now we're going to find the limit of fx when x approaches 2. So when x approaches 2, we will focus at this part. We need to do one-sided limit to identify is it the left-sided limit equals to right-sided limit in order to identify whether the limit of a function when x approaches 2 exists or not. So, we will find the limit for x approaches 2 from the left-hand side. The function selected here will be this and factorize it straight away. Factorize also for denominator where you can take out the x and then leaving x minus 2. So for this factor, we can simplify the limit when x approaches 2 from the left hand side and we substitute, we will get 2 plus 1 over 2 which is equal to negative 3 over 2. Then we proceed to do the limit for x approaches 2 from the right hand side which is involving this function where x squared minus x minus 2 can be factorized or the denominator also can be factorized and we simplify the same factor then substitute the value of 2 it will become 3 over 2 now we get limit of a function when x approaches 2 on the left hand side and right hand side they are in difference value so they are not same
since the limit approaches to from the left hand side not same with the limit approaches to from the right hand side therefore the limit approaches to of a function does not exist now we continue to answer the next question is it the function continuous as x equals to 2 since the limit of a function for x approaches 2 does not exist means that our condition of the continuity does not fulfill therefore we can conclude that the function is not continuous at x equals to 2 now we are going to see which part is very important how we express our modulus function in piecewise function we will get one mark then we calculate and select to the correct function here we'll get one mark then this is your answer finally we state that the function does not exist because the right sided limit and left sided limit does not seem and we conclude that this function also does not continue as x equals to 2 that's all